a home video aired of Eric Watts cutting a promo on Jeff Jarrett with Brian Erlacher sitting around on a couch. Another video aired with Watts with Neil McCoy and Ira Dean. And then another video with Watts hanging out with Mark Rippon and Jim McMahon at a bar. Finally, a video airs of Watts with Jim Daly. John. Oh, yeah. Uh, the torch would say Jim, which made me laugh. Oh, God. Uh, okay. As you see there, it's John Daly. This is, um, what's the thinking here? Hey, look, one of our guys knows some famous people. So I have often thought long before we launched my world, the Eric Watts that we got in TNA versus the Eric Watts, essentially when he broke in fresh out of university of Louisville on WCW television, 10 years prior, basically. Yes. And, and really, I can't say completely two different folks, but the confidence that Eric had in TNA was just night and day. And a, I can relate to this in so many ways. He wasn't working for his father. Mm. That, that just, that that's, that's a whole nother spin. He wasn't produced by his father. And there is a difference working is one thing, but then when you're directly under the thumb of being produced, there is a different set of landscape. And then also just being 10 years of experience makes it completely different. And Eric would do celebrity golf tournaments, hang out with guys, travel. He was buddies with all these folks. So he's like, Hey, let me kind of capitalize on this. And, and he had a sense about him when he was the antagonist, the heel, just kind of a quick witted smarmy, but there's a tinge of, I kind of like this guy, but man, he's arrogant, but, but I kind of like him, uh, to a point, but man, he's an asshole because he's so full of himself. But yes, uh, as you said, Hey, he hangs around a lot of famous people. Let's get him on camera. That there was a design that Eric is hobnobbing with all these different folks, but he, his promos that he would ask his buddies, Hey, stand here with me and we'll have a good time, but I'm going to weave a storyline in. And he would weave the storyline in his promos. 